Hey, it's Pizza Dude, man. I was just about to cash out and leave, but then I realized the area where the doctor is is right in here, next to the entrance. <laughs> you keep missing <sighs> these obvious spots uh, all night. That's because I'm flying around so much, you know what I mean? Yeah. All right. And there's also a slot machine night. here. We also, there's a pig here I've never met. He's like an archer pig. Look it. Oh, he's a little boar. Pay no mind, peasant. I'm on official night business and need no help from a common lizard. Uh, I, said, I didn't. Well, I didn't help them in earlier levels. So they don't want my help now. I would have to go back to Tremble Stack Tropics and find I, probably this pig. I just never found him. I, I looked around. I didn't look that carefully. Uh, let's do a slot machine. What am I trying? Oh, yeah, I'm trying to get three yukas. That's right. Okay, it's after banana. Okay, this one's after the duke. Which is after skull minion. Ah, I messed up. Oh, right. I was like, reset, but I have to pull the lever again. Uh, what time is it anyway? It is almost 12.30 in the morning night. The morning night? Yeah, because it's technically a.m., but it's nighttime. You know, so you know what I mean? Why do we have a.m. like in the fucking nighttime? Well, what I don't understand is why it's called 12 a.m. Why wouldn't it be 12 p.m.? Why is... You know what I mean? Because, like, we go 1 a.m., 2 a.m., 3 a.m., 4 a.m., 5 a.m., 6 a.m., 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 a.m., and then 12, you'd think it's 12 a.m., but then it goes to p.m. I just don't understand the naming convention it there. It, it doesn't no make sense. sense to me. It's like the one exception. Like, I don't know, maybe there's some scientific reason behind it, but just... Or historical. But it just seems, like... Stupid. Yeah, I just don't understand. It's just like the Imperial oh! system. Molly cool. Versus Yay. The, the metric system. It's like it's like you know how our country doesn't do the fucking metric system. Still like looking at that big yeah. Still looking at that big laser round duck. I thought you would have scaled down by now. Indeed, there's still plenty of work to be done while that awful capital B remains at large. Well, we're almost ready to put him away. She has a skull on her shirt. Oh, I never noticed that. That's kind of cool. Speaking of which, I made a big big through my incredible DN Ray on thy next transformation is simply spectacular. It's a helicopter. Have you found this world's Molly Cool yet? Yeah, he was literally in the slot machine right next to you. Oh, that's weird. All right. And oddly St convenient. Stand at the DN Ray. Beep boop, I am the DN Ray. It's a helicopter, right? It, or did I am I misremembering? Are you ready to transform? Pretty sure it's a helicopter. I think I saw that in Boundary Break. It's yeah. a helicopter. Oops! That's not how it looked in the manual. To fly the chopper, use X to elevate, L2 to descend. Careful with square, though. That fires deadly missiles. <laughs> Die, everything. <laughs> oh, fuck you, get camera. In <laughs> so this must be how I get into the, um, that one, uh, you know. Get in the yuka. Oh, hey, there was another pig up there. Man, I found all the pigs here. I couldn't find a single one besides the leader in a tribal stack. Wow, it's um, a little slow though. You know, where was that? Where were those concrete blocks? Take that, everything! Oh, I think they were this way. Maybe not. Well, if I ki oh, there they are. There they are. Time to blow the crap out of them! Ah! Oh! I didn't see any grenades, so I was assuming the helicopter had some kind of weapon to get into here. Oh, is that it? Is that all I can use the helicopter? Because I, I probably can't get into here, can I? Damn it! Well, that's really... Is there nothing else for me to do with the helicopter? No. Was that the entire point of the helicopter, was to fly over to this one location? 
Oh, I wanted to blow more shit up. I was hoping there'd be like a whole helicopter course. Maybe there is somewhere. I, I just haven't found it yet. I'm really, really hopeful right now. I wanted to be this missile bombarding helicopter more. Nah. Is that really it? There's probably more, but I don't know if I want to really seek it out right now. Seek it out and ye shall find old, but I'm not that old, young, but I'm not that bold. I don't think the world is so, I'm just doing what we're told. And I feel something so right, I'm doing the wrong thing. And I feel something so wrong, I'm doing the right thing. I guess I'm just going to keep saying this. I could and I could and I could and I. Everything that kills me makes me feel alive. I like that song a lot, actually. Oh, really? Yeah. Did you know that song? Yeah. It's, um... Oh, God, I used to know the name of the song and the artist's name, and they are both escaping me right now, probably because it is 12.30 that morning night. Is it Bruno Mars? It is not Bruno Mars! <laughs> It is like some one-hit wonder band. They're not really one-hit wonders, but I it's not something I don't think you'd recognize the name of the band. I don't do well with pop music like that. I don't do well with like a lot of modern stuff. What uh gosh, what is the name of that band? That's really gonna bug me. Someone someone will comment it, maybe. I mean so I, I, well, to be honest, Ukulele's daily views of each video have been like less than ten, so. So maybe. So maybe someone will comment it. And maybe not. Maybe. Maybe May not. Maybe. maybe someone will comment on this vid. Maybe no one will, and that's some shit. I don't know. I, I just had to rhyme. It's actually not that bad if you don't yeah. comment. Like, I like comments, I read them, they make me feel like people are watching, but if you don't comment, I mean, Shit. you know, um. comments are great, and like, I, even if you just say, wow, great video, which I have a couple of people who do that, you know, they just say, yeah, hey, nice. nice job, e even that just makes me feel good, but like, at the same time, I know from my own standpoint, I, I don't like putting that on other people's videos, because like, I just feel like... I had nothing better to say than good job, but you know what? It, it really does make me feel good. Mm -hmm. So if you if you just stop by every now and then and say, "Hey, I enjoyed this video," um, then that then that it's makes me feel nice good. And, and if you said, it. "Hey, this video was kind of boring and shit," I still like that more than just no comments. Because <laughs> at least we can figure out how to make it better. Right, and it, well, yeah, and it's some kind you of acknowledgement. prefer it in the when it, manner of constructive criticism. Oh, but, I, I know, prefer it, but, you know, I mean, I just have so many videos that, like, just don't get comments. But I said, I don't want to, like, force anyone into a comment if you don't have anything substantial to say, because, I mean, I watch a shit ton of videos and never comment. Um, so it would be kind of hypocritical for me to expect otherwise. Um, but just, you know, I, I, for me... And I think for a lot of people, that really does make a difference. We just getting the comments that go, "Hey, that that was nice. I thought the part where you said this or did this was really funny." Um, and I don't know. I try to comment back with a thanks, but sometimes I don't. And I'm sorry. I'll try to do that more. <laughs> oh shit! I'm so low on energy. I'm gonna have to wait. Or oh shit! I'm still low on energy. Damn it! Yeah, so, can't do anything without energy. Yeah. Usually whenever I comment on videos, I don't I do not do it often. Oh, is that right? Just because I think it's not really worth my time to, depending on the subject matter. But when I do, usually if it's like something that either blows me away or makes me really think or really like, you know, does something positive to me or for others, I usually just say thank you for making this video. Because, like, yeah. everybody has their story, everybody has their reason for liking it, everyone has, like, you know, the whole good job, but you never see people just straight up say thank you. And I hmm. think, you know, a lot of content creators would appreciate a thank you every now and again. Yeah, and some people do. I mean, I don't know if I really make the type of videos that are thank you. Because most of the videos I make, if they're not Let's Plays, they're, like, 
wouldn't this be cool if you know what I mean? They're not really thought provoking videos. Yeah. It's the type of videos I make. And I, and see, usually I watch a lot of thought provoking stuff. You do. You watch a lot of stuff by like, oh, what are those guys that do uh, all the, the history Green and Brothers, stuff? The well, you do them too. Yeah. Crash course. Crash course is what I was thinking. Sci show. Uh, um, Lindsay Ellis. Lindsay Ellis. Who's been doing a lot of cool stuff recently, actually. Yeah, she's been doing a lot of, like... She's she's on a roll. Well, she's been doing a lot of, um... What's the term for it? Film education, almost. Yeah. Like, she's been doing... Teaching a lot of film theory and stuff that you usually only get in, like, a college course. Hmm. And that's kind of nice. And she analyzes it in ways that are entertaining, like, using, like... Uh the uh, Transformer series as a means of analyzing film theory which is so hilarious and fun and informative I think it's all it's almost worth the watch if you're into intellectual stuff watching Lindsay's stuff yeah oh yeah definitely. yeah if you're if you're an intellectual person her stuff is really wonderful um no, I just I just like a lot of brainy things, a lot of intellectual things, a lot of things that make you think. I I like a lot of stuff by the Green Brothers, like Hank Green and John Green, especially their like vlogs where they're. Oh shit! God, I just you need so much energy to yeah. do this. But when they're like you know they're sending video blogs to each other, vlog but vlog brothers is what it's called. Yeah. I like that a lot. And there was some stuff Fuck. recently that they were doing that was really almost comforting. Like, John Green admitted to, like, having um, OCD, like, legit, like, obsessive compulsive disorder, and explained right. what it was like for him to have that. Um, God damn it. And being someone who has a family history of mental health issues, including OCD. It's nice to see someone explain it in a way and still, like, explain how you can have this and be a functional human being. Oh, yeah, yeah, I get it. You know, it. and explain, like, what it really means to be All right, be I'm OCD. leaving this world now. Oh, we're we're, right. we're going we're gonna to get our three pages from the three tokens we have, and we're going to jet. Yeah. Because real OCD is vastly misunderstood. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. People people really trivialize it. Because people don't understand that its literal definition is having obsessive thoughts and having repeated compulsions to reduce the anxiety of those obsessive thoughts. I want to say either me or a friend of mine made an OCD joke and someone got really pissy about it. I think that was a little over the top, though. Well, it depends on how it's done. Because, like, a lot of the jokes just come from a misunderstanding. Of how and it not works. Not knowing what OCD actually is. It's just assuming that it's being a neat freak. Okay, which so... Which is nothing like what no, OCD I, I know. Is. That can be part of it, though. It's a part... It's, so, well, it's no, no, one so, of the common so, components. So here's my question to you, honey, because for this. So here's my question to you. Is... When someone's making a joke about themselves, like, oh, being a neat freak, sometimes they'll say, oh, I'm being OCD, right? And sometimes people get pissy about that because it's like, well, that's not how OCD really works, and it's not fair for you to use a real medical condition as a, as a casual term like that. Yeah. On the other hand, uh, obviously, we've reached a point in um, a lot of society where the word retarded is not accepted as a way of saying how, you know, something is just casually stupid, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, however, you seem to be kind of on board on it with the way that Ricky Mo and Morty explained it, that you were like, uh, no, it should be okay to, to, to trivialize and normalize that and call it like that. Well... So, so I just want to, I just want to understand your, my, your idea behind that. Well, the way it's explained in Rick and Morty is that Rick is literally using it as the term of what it means. You know, oh, he's not making a right. joke out of it. He's using it 
as the technical term of what it is. That's right. I forgot the he, context. Because yeah, that's the context of it. That's why like he's trying to explain why it's okay for him to say it. When it's okay. Morty it's okay like, for him well, to say retarded when the situation is really referring it will to something. Make him mentally disabled. Okay. Of what? What? That's what he was doing. That's you know? right. I, you know what? I completely forgot the context. And that's why he was justifying why he was calling, like, using that word. He was using it in the correct aspect so, of it. He wasn't so, making okay. a joke. No, yeah, that's right. So, there, no, there is no contradiction there. Then. Yeah, not at all. No. -uh. That, that, that was the entire joke of the scene because Morty was talking about, well, it's not socially acceptable to use that term. But Rick is like, well... But I'm using should, it in the context where it actually, where it actually literally makes sense. Yeah. So it's not that, you know, you shouldn't use the words retarded or OCD, but you should use them only when they're actually appropriate to the situations to which yes. they're being applied. Yes, like, you know... Because, like, for instance, I... You know, for one, you know, despite you know me me bringing that up as a question, I never use retarded as as a form of as a casual form of stupid. And I've, uh, as a teacher, I have I have had to discourage students from doing so. Yeah. Um. And uh. And I like or like another example I can think of. I would but never. But we're using that word here as well to explain what we're trying to. Yeah. You know, get. Or or we'll just from. just another comparison. We're out of time this episode. But I want to I want to finish up these thoughts before we cut off, and I'm just going to make my way towards um, Galleon Galaxy. I would never use the word word gay in the same way. I would say, oh, you know, oh, that's so gay, as 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 a you know. Insulting term. Yeah, as just a generalized word for stupid. I would not do that. Because just being for gay the isn't same being for the same reason. Yeah, <laughs> it um, just doesn't make logical sense given the what the word means. Right, and so um, but it's interesting because there are other like LPs and streamers and stuff that I really enjoy that do, um, and I don't know. It, it just, just makes me wonder. It's like you know how much should we. You know, really, really be PC about that. And how much should we let it go and say, hey, it's not that big of a deal? I think it depends on context. You should utilize the word I think, well, yeah, based I, on its correct definition and not use it as a way to, like, demean or put a negative context when that has nothing to do with its definition. Okay, that makes you know, sense to me. like, okay, saying something is gay in a negative sense, well, that doesn't make sense because... There's really nothing ethically wrong in being gay outside of certain religious contexts. Right, that's like you the know, only context. Like, words. if you look at it from like an an ethical standpoint, being gay really doesn't cause suffering to others. Right. Unless you ignore the concept of consent, you know, which is an entirely different argument. Oh yeah. Entirely, because you know that's, the concept that's, of that gets into a different idea. Is yeah. like the ethical arguments around that has it's across the board. Uh, it doesn't matter what your orientation is, but you know what I mean. Yeah, like, yeah, I get it. If you look at it from like a non-bias, you don't like way of thinking of ethics, which is complicated and a lot of people struggle with it if they haven't already, like, taken classes in ethics studies, you know? Yeah. Because <laughs> it's, it's a really deep subject that is really hard to explain if you don't, like, break down how to analyze something from a non-biased standpoint. So... Um, and yeah, maybe maybe we'll talk more about that next time, or maybe we'll just move on and explore the fun new galaxy world. Yeah. Either way, see you next time. See ya.